Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. In today's video, I'm super excited because I get to talk one of my favorite topics in skincare, and that's sunscreens. Honestly, there is no more important step in your skincare routine than a good broad spectrum sunscreen. And recently, I think we've all had a fangirl moment for Korean sunscreens, super elegant and lightweight on application. However, our love affair with Korean sunscreens means we might have been sleeping on and neglecting the European style sunscreens that honestly, I think could make wonderful additions to your own skincare routine. I'm gonna pull that right in today's video. So sit back, relax, let's talk the best European sunscreens. Now, before we get into this video, I'd love to know what your current go-to sunscreen is. What's the one that you've got on your skin at the moment? Sound up in the comments section below, because your recommendations really do shape the products I try and review here on the channel in the future. Also, whenever I upload a sunscreen video, you guys always read me to filth in the comments for never doing enough swatches. Well, I hear you, and I'm going to put that right in today's video. I'm not actually a born multitasker, but I'm going to be swatching each and every one of the sunscreens that I mentioned today, so you can see how they apply, the finish that they leave on the skin. If you want to see more swatches on the channel, make sure you let me know by giving this video a big thumbs up and a like. It's also a great way of supporting me in the channel, because the more likes a video gets, the more widely YouTube will publish it, which just means as many people as possible can find out about these fabulous European style sunscreens. Now, with all that being said, shall we cut the waffle and just delve straight on in? And I guess the best place to start is, what is a European style sunscreen? Well, I define them as any sunscreen manufactured by a brand based here in Europe. A lot of people say, is there actually any difference between like US style sunscreens, European sunscreens, Korean sunscreens? If they're giving us the protection, does it really matter? And in truth, it absolutely doesn't. When it comes to skincare, use what works for you. However, there are some subtle differences between the different sunscreens manufactured in different areas. And I wanna very quickly touch on that now. Let's first start with the US sunscreen. So in the US, the sunscreen in industry is very heavily and quite tightly regulated by the FDA. The FDA haven't actually updated their guidelines and regulations in the longest possible time, which means as a brand, if you want to formulate a sunscreen out of the US, you have to stick to the old style UV filters. There's nothing wrong with these. They absolutely do give a good level of protection, but they feel a lot heavier on the skin. They appear a little bit more greasy in terms of texture, which is why a lot of US sunscreens don't come with that cosmetic elegance that we've come to expect from say Asian sunscreens. Also with these older style UV filters, some of them are less photo stable than some of the newer generation ones, which means you have to reapply it more frequently. That's why I always say it's worth reading the manufacturer's instructions on reapplication, no matter what sunscreen you happen to reach for. There is nothing wrong with US style sunscreens and they definitely give good protection. But I think if you're looking for elegance and a lightweight feel, this probably isn't the market that you're gonna to want to reach for. One of the markets I would always recommend if you're looking for super lightweight sunscreens is Korean sunscreens. These are absolutely fantastic because they tend to stick exclusively to those newer generation filters. These are lightweight on the skin. They almost act like moisturizers rather than sunscreens, which is why I think a lot of us have turned a corner with our sunscreen use. No longer do we dread it the way we maybe did a few years ago. Now we actually see it as an integral part of our skincare routine that's actually enjoyable. I look forward to applying the sunscreens and this should definitely be the case if you choose the right one for your individual skin's needs. Korean sunscreens can be a little bit on the pricey side, which is I say one of the drawbacks. And also I find this market prioritized UVB protection, the one that's identified by the SPF value on the sunscreen over UVA protection. You really need broad spectrum that covers you against both wavelengths of light. UVB radiation burns the skin, UVA radiation ages it. So broad spectrum is like equal proportions of both of these which I think sometimes Korean sunscreens can lack a little bit. Not the case universally, but something that I'd say is a bit more of a trend out of that market. This is where I think European style sunscreens can really come into their own because they tend to be formulated with a blend of older style UV filters alongside some of the newer generation ones. This means you get a really good range of protection, but also with products that feel lightweight and elegant on application. European regulations in terms of sunscreens are some of the most stringent in the world, which kind of gives us a built-in level of protection as the consumer to know we're getting exactly what we're paying for. What I think is really sets European style sunscreens apart from some of the other manufacturing locations is brands tend to equally prioritize UVB and UVA protection. This is really, really important. Something that I think can be lacking, like I said, in other markets. I love European style sunscreens and hopefully with the ones that I'm gonna talk about in this section of the video, you guys will be total converts too. I'm also here to say these aren't just for Europeans. All the products mentioned today are available internationally. If you're in the US, you'll probably have to buy them online 
but don't worry because I've left some links to sites where you can get your hands on them in the description box below. So if you want to read the ingredients, the reviews, make a purchase, it's all there for your convenience. But shall we just delve into some of these European sunscreen favourites? And I want to start with this product. This is the Alterist Dermatologist Face Fluid SPF 50. Now the reason I wanted to start with this is it's the cheapest of all the ones I'm mentioning today. A lot of sunscreens do seem to be coming with higher price points, which honestly I think is a shame because good quality sun protection should never break the bank. And I think Ultras really prove this. So this is a hybrid sunscreen which uses chemical and mineral UV filters and has a ridiculously high protection level against UVA radiation. So if you want your sunscreen to be beautifully affordable and offer really good protection against UVB and UVA radiation, this is the one that I'd reach for. So when you apply this, it has the feeling of a much more expensive sunscreen. Really lightweight, really elegant, and has some great moisturizing properties too. If you read the ingredients list of this, honestly, you will be a total, total convert. I have a very oily, acne-prone skin type, but this doesn't break me out, doesn't exacerbate any of the skin congestion. And because of those humectants and hydrators in here, I think it'd work equally well on my skin type as it would on someone with a drier skin type too. This is truly universal because it'll meet every skin type and every every budget. If you see how that applies to the skin, after just 20 seconds of working it in, it's not super dewy that sometimes can translate as a bit greasy. It gives like what I call like a satin finish. Not deadpan matte, but just a really like what I call a little bit of a glow up and a guaranteed good skin day. This, for £6, I honestly don't think it gets better than this. One of my absolute holy grails. Now the product I'm actually wearing on the skin today is this one. This is the Sultan Ones Sun Care Cream. So this is a style of sunscreen that you only need to apply in the morning and it protects you all day long. Now I know a lot of people are going to be skeptical about that and say actually how good are single application sunscreens? Well it all comes down to the product and the formulation that you reach for. If you're using newer generation filters in a product which are much more photo stable so degrade at a slower rate you absolutely can get a longer level of protection. This product has been tested for the eight hour period that the brand claims and at the end of the eight hour protection period it was delivering an SPF of 30. They achieved this in two ways. First of all by using those more stable newer generation filters but also because it's actually starting with a higher SPF value this 30 indicates what it's ending with so they start with the highest as it degrades after the eight hour period you end with an SPF of 30. Now this I think is great for people that never reapply their sunscreen during the day. I know we're always told to but honestly how many of us actually do? If you're the sort of person that knows you're never going to reapply your sunscreen reach for this product because it just gives you that longevity of protection that I think some other sunscreens might lack. The formulation in this product is sensational. So you've got older style UV filters alongside some of the newer generation ones, which I really love. And it's really characteristic of those European style sunscreens. You've also got some really nice moisturizing agents in here, such as shea butter, which is gonna soften and hydrate the skin, which is a real big plus, particularly if you've got a drier skin type. In here, you've also got panthenol, which calms and soothes the skin, and some antioxidants. I love to use antioxidants alongside my sun protection, because I find that way you're just doubling down on the protection that you're giving the skin all day long. And this is an absolute standout product. It's not super expensive. I pay £10 and I say that one bottle of this will probably last you like two weeks because like I say, you're only applying it in the morning. You don't actually have to reapply. Such, such a great product. And if you see how this applies onto the skin, I'd say it's on the dewier side than matte, but that's not going to be a problem, particularly if you do like a cheeky glow up with your sunscreen. This one will definitely deliver it. And of all the ones I'm mentioning today, this has the best fragrance. It's so unique. It's kind of not that traditional sunscreen scent that you get. It is an artificial fragrance, but it smells so, so uplifting and invigorating. I absolutely love it. And it dissipates after like a minute. So it's not one of those fragrances that lingers longer than your sun protection does. This such a great product. And if you see how it applies on the skin, you'll understand why I started to reach this more and more often. It saves the hassle of that reapplication and it's just a really well formulated product. Now I mentioned just now about the need to use an antioxidant alongside your SPF. And I think this should be standard in everyone's skincare routine. Your SPF protects against wavelengths of light, whereas your antioxidant will protect and prevent oxidative stresses caused by free radicals. Free radicals are things such as pollution, particulate matter, wavelengths of light as well, and which is why I think it just complements your sun protection so, so well. Now, everybody is gonna want to reach for a separate antioxidant and sun cream, I hear you, so you can get it all in one, and it's this product. This is the number seven Protect and Perfect Intense Sun Cream. Such, such a great product. So, this comes in an SPF of 30 and 50. There's very little difference in terms of the application between the two but I say the 30 is slightly more lightweight which is why I personally prefer it. This is stunning. It has seven 
different antioxidants in it. This is really, really important because antioxidants, in my opinion, I can never get enough of. So you get a beautiful blend in here to just fight off all those free radicals. You've also got some locked in guaranteed sun protection as well. It's a really nice hydrating product. This does have fragrance in it. So if you're looking for a fragrance free option, I'm coming on to one in a minute, but it's quite an uplifting fragrance. That I personally really, really like. This, if you're looking for that like advanced protection with all that antioxidant, as well as a really high UVA radiate rating, this is what I would recommend. So the way it applies onto the skin, it's slightly thicker than some of the other sunscreens. That's because it's the most hydrating of all the ones I'm recommending today. Perfect if you have a dry skin type. It's just plumping, it's hydrating, and it gives you a really, really nice velvet finish to the skin. So I've worked that in for about 20 seconds there, and you can see it's not greasy, it's not overly dewy, but it's definitely not that dry down deadpan matte that people often want to avoid in sunscreens because it can exacerbate, sit in and exacerbate fine lines and wrinkles. This plumps and nourishes the skin, leaves a beautiful finish, and is give, doubling down on that protection with antioxidants and sun protection all in one product. A total, total holy grail and worth the slightly higher price point that they're asking for this product. Now, all of the products that I've recommended so far in the video have had added fragrance. I don't personally mind that in my sun protection because I find that, you know, fragrance-free sunscreens can smell a little bit chemically and off-putting. However, not everybody wants fragrance in their life because if you've got a particularly sensitive skin type, it can exacerbate that, so it's wise to avoid it. So, if you're looking for a fragrance-free sunscreen that honestly delivers everything, I would reach for this. This is the Garnier Ombre Solaire Anti-Age Super UV Sunscreen. That's a mouthful to say, but this is a beautifully formulated product. Now, Garnier have a vast array of different sunscreens, and it can be a little bit confusing when you see them all side by side on the drugstore shelf. So I would say, if you want to keep it super simple, just pick up this product. It doesn't have any drying alcohol in it, which some of the other Garnier sunscreens do, and again, it can lead to excess dryness and sensitivity in the skin. This is also formulated with hyaluronic acid. It's got some other calming and soothing botanicals, so it hydrates, it calms the skin and it's perfect perfect if you have a sensitive skin type. It also glides so well onto the skin and whilst it's fragrance free I don't find it smells too chemically and off-putting which is a really really nice added bonus. So if you see how this applies I don't know if this translates on the screen it's a little bit more creamy than some of the other recommendations and that's some of those hydrators and hyaluronic acid working together to just really really hydrate the skin. You work it in, and I'd say of all of the ones that I've tried on today, this is the one that plumps the skin out the most. So if you're looking for a little bit of a cheat, some anti-aging benefit, this is absolutely where it's at. It's got a little niacinamide in here, which again, some people like, because it's a calming and soothing B vitamin, but it also can have some pigment correcting abilities as well. So that's a nice little added skincare benefit. But for me, the reason I think this is great, beyond just being fragrance free, is if you see how that actually layers and applies on the skin. This is probably the most matte of all the ones, and yet it's the most hydrating. That's quite rare to find, which is why I think this could be a true holy grail, particularly if you've got a drier, sensitive skin type and you want a product that doesn't leave you too shiny or greasy all day long. This absolutely delivers that and it's a beautifully affordable drugstore product to boot. Now finally let's talk these two products both by Simple as part of their Protect and Glow range. You've got the SPF oil and you've got the SPF moisturizer. So I picked these up because you know Simple have recently gone entirely cruelty free and all of the recommendations I've made in today's video are cruelty free too. So I thought okay let's try these out and see what they actually deliver. I like the fact that you get different textures particularly with the oil one which will work with a drier skin type. I think you can get some additional benefit from that. But also, Simple do cut out a lot of the fragrance, the artificial colorants. So again, if you've got a sensitive skin type, this could be a really great range to reach for. The moisturizer, I'd say, is a fairly standard SPF moisturizer. You know, it's got some verified SPF 30 protection in it, which I love, and some antioxidants alongside it. But it's nothing that stands out alongside any of the other, you know, verified SPF moisturizers on the market. The oil, on the other hand, I think is really unique and different. So the way that this applies is it's a drier oil. So even on my skin, which is super oily and acne prone, it didn't leave me feeling like I was greasy and wearing a mask, which was definitely, definitely welcome. However, I think on a drier skin type, it'll double down and add a little extra hydration to your life, which honestly is a great thing. The way that this applies, it's super easy and convenient drop up because I was a little bit skeptical when I tried and thought I don't want it to go everywhere, but you do have to squeeze the bottle to get the product out. So it's not one of those that's just going to leak all over your vanity. And then as you work it into the skin, it feels really, really good. It's got some vitamin C in here as well, which is not only a fantastic antioxidant, but will also brighten and bring back some radiance to the complexion. And lots of studies are showing using vitamin C alongside SPF is a great way of doubling down on that protection, which I'm all about. If you see how that works into the skin, 
skin, it's not as greasy as you expect it to be with that oil formulation. And actually, if you continue to work it in for say 30 seconds, that dissipates completely. It leaves the skin feeling beautifully soft. It gives a very light glow up, which is what the brand promises with this product. And I think that vitamin C is a really nice complement to that SPF protection. This is definitely not greasy like some um, oil-based sunscreens can be. And I think this is a really, really nice addition. I think this costs five pounds here in the UK. So again, you don't need to break the bank and it's half price at Boots at the moment. So if you are in the UK or Ireland and want to get your hands on that at Boots, you can get an extra saving too. Definitely a product that I would recommend, even though I was really skeptical to try it at first. So there you have it guys, a rundown of my favorite European sunscreens. Now the eagle-eyed amongst you will say, where's the Vichy, where's the La Roche-Posay, which I think are some of the most popular European style sunscreens on the market. The reason I don't personally reach for those brands is they're not entirely cruelty free. Yes, their sunscreens are stunning. La Roche-Posay in particular, I think has knocked it out of the park. However, I like to reach for entirely cruelty free brands for my own skincare needs, but it all comes down to personal preference. So don't read into the fact they're not mentioned in today's video as me saying they're not worthy of a place in this. They're absolutely fantastic formulations and it all comes down to your individual price point, ethics, and what you wanna get out of the products themselves. Hopefully this has just given you a little food for thought when it comes to shopping European style sunscreens. Let me know any of my, your other favorites in the comments section below. Wherever you are in the world, guys, stay safe, stay well, love your skin. Take care, bye.